Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with All Zipped Up by Jays. So this is Jays' uh, premiere as a setter uh, for the Sudoku adventure series. So welcome, Jays. Thank you for contributing. Um, and also, this zipper rule is uh, is new as well. So this will be fun. Um, so let's go over the rules, including what these zipper lines mean. So we have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules. That means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. Additionally, we have these lavender lines in the grid. So the way, the way these lines work is you find the center. So this is the center. And then whatever digit goes in there, say a six goes in there, then the digits that are equidistant from that center must also add to that center digit. So we could do two, four here, or let's just fill them in. We could do two, four here, and we could do four, two here. Um, or we could do one five here. However you do it, these add to six, these add to six, and then you have the six in the middle. All right, and that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. After a drink of water. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, put a circle in the middle of each of these lines so that we know what that middle cell is. And I think the way to start this is to think about how six can't be on a line other than if it's circled, right? If I put a six here, it's gonna add with something. And no matter how low I make it, I would then need to add these two and put it here. And no matter what you add to six, you're gonna end up with something bigger than six and there's no digits bigger than six in a six by six Sudoku. So for this column, it needs a six, it's gonna go here. So, now we need a three in the column, right? And um, the only place it's going to go is here. Because if I put a three here, I would need to add another three to get to six. So these two are threes to add to six. And then I suppose we can put that these are one, two, four, five. Because we're going to get one of them is going to be one plus five and one's going to be two plus four. We don't know which is which. OK, that's good progress. Maybe we could follow sixes around. Yeah, the, we need a six over here, and they can't go on the lines. Um, I need a six in this box, it goes here. I need a six in this box, it goes here. Uh, six can be in either of these. What about up here? Ah, yeah, six has to go here and here. There we go, sixes are done. Nice. Um, we know one of these is a three, so we can use that. I'm wondering about this. Clearly it's not one or two, right? It has to be the sum of two digits that see each other. Um, I think it could be a three. Like we could have we could have one, two here, and we could have one, two here. I don't really see a reason that would be a problem. Um, it can't be four though, because this would need to be one plus three and it can't be. So it's three or five only. Um, This is not one or two. Hold on, this is not six, which means we can't put a five on these lines because it would be at best five plus one, which would be six. So where's five in this column, right? It has to go here. This has to be the five. That's no longer five, which means that's no longer one. So these do add to five. This has to be one plus four. There's no other option um, because the three is gone. So this is not one or four, which means on this end, this is not two or, um, sorry, yeah, two or five. <coughs> so this is two or five. So this could be two plus three, but only this way, or it could be another one for pair. Hmm. Okay, what do we do here? Is it this cell here? Okay, well, this is this has a three on it because the three is not up here. Um, which means this has to be at least four, but it can't be five or six. So it has to be four. Nice, that's not four, which means that's not one. Um, so this has to be one plus three. Oh, no, sorry. It's, it's uh, one plus three this way and one plus three this way. Not that it matters. It's all one threes. So this is a one. This is a three. One has to, hold on. 
I think I broke it. Because this needs to be 3 as well. In order for these to add to 4. Huh. Did I mess up a zipper line? Hold on, what did I do wrong here? Oh, you know what? I think I made a faulty assumption with this 4. Because... What, what was I saying? Okay, these two and these two, these can repeat digits. This can be as low as two. Okay, well, no, this has a three on it. That's what I was saying. The, the, for this column, there's a three on here. And it's not here, so this is a three. Okay, so let's fill this three. It's not here because of the threes over here, the three in the box. Um, so it's gonna add to something to get this. So I think we'd have to do three plus one is four. But then this can be 2 plus 2, and it must be, because it can't be 3 plus 1. Um, because neither of these can be 3, so it's 2 plus 2. Okay, I didn't break it, I just got confused. So that's a 4, that's a 1, that's a 4, that's a 1. Okay. Nice. Um, this is a 3-5 pair. We know the order. So that's all finished. We get the four and the one. Four plus, okay, one plus five, four plus two. That's a five. We need a two and a three here. Here we need a two and a four. Here we need a one and a five. And then down here we need two, five, and four. So that's the four, that's the five, that's the two. Nice. All right, a little bit of a hiccup in the middle there where I didn't consider two plus two as an option for adding to four. But my logic was sound in that in this column we needed a three here, so that had to be four. Just once I made this a four, I thought these had to be one three pairs. I didn't consider two plus two. So that, that was my mistake, but that's okay. I recovered from it pretty quickly. Um, let me know how you did on this. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.